Welcome back. I looked it up and unfortunately uh, what happened with the uh, Geth and the Tunnels mission is a known glitch which was present in the original and apparently not fixed for the Legendary Edition. The issue there is that if you kill, or just kill, if you destroy the tower with a um, weapon using a uh, damage over time effect ammo, like incendiary ammo, which is what I'm using, then it does not count and you're unable to complete the mission. Unfortunately, the only way to fix it is to load before you did this mission. And the only save I have that's before that point is the start of the previous video. And I don't want to have to do the end of uh, Bring Down the Sky again. Just to fix one assignment. Um, as far as I know, not doing this assignment doesn't have any negative si uh, effects as far as the story goes. You just miss out on the, the XP and the money. Uh, the money I definitely don't care about and XP is not that important, I guess. Don't know if we'll be able to get to level 30, but I doubt this will be the deciding factor there, unless you're like 300 XP short by the end of the game. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're gonna, just going to have to deal with this being stuck uncompleted in our assignments um, forever, because I have no way of rectifying it without replaying a whole chunk of the game. Anyway, we're done here in uh, Zoo's Hope. So we shall head to... Um, the Exogeny facility and the Geth base. is not here. Or is it? I'm so good at finding things. Yes, it is here. Watch out! Oh, they'll be here any minute now. And we get another fight in the garage, just like on Ovaria. It's just, it was the one assault drone. Area secured. We can't talk to them? I guess not. Why is it so dark? This one mission. Um And now to the Geth base. Not something an intelligent being would typically say. No, I guess not. Also, this garage is on fire. You might want to do something about that. Um We know that this is our Mako in this case. Like I said on Novaria that we didn't really know if it was just there or if it been brought there from the uh from the Normandy. In this case we do know. Because uh, Liara said that after we uh, got rid of the Geth in the tower in the beginning, she said that we could bring in a, vi a vehicle. And I believe these are just armatures. We are receiving a weak console. I cannot pinpoint its location through the Geth interference. And the game is making a big deal out of them because this might be the first time you've seen them. Can I hit you? At all? The answer is yes. The graphics here look pretty nice, I guess. Oh, there's still one dude left. What did you think you were doing? You can't take on the Mako like that. This I remember is also pretty More glitchy. Talk, but I still can't get a fix on. Any sign of movement? 
Lisbeth could still be in there. It's only been a few days. This highway has seen better days. These are all Prophean structures anyway. And we leveled up. Deal with the gap first. I don't see the rest of them. We're already inside here, because there's a few places where you can go inside here. This is not one of them. This is. That did not help. Um, there's gunfire going that way. Where's that coming from? From the building, I guess. It's kind of vague. Let's check in here, which of course is very dark. And there's a guy down there, yeah. I knew that. Go away with your stupid shield. Just some crates and stuff down here. But we also always want more stuff, even if most of it is not going to be useful at this point. All targets down. I guess that's it. If only I could actually see. Moving on. We've got movement. Some kind of vehicle. Not one of the gas. They've got us on visual. We must be close. Forget them. We need to deal with the gas. I will not forget them, Garrus. Let's go see who it is. I said as if I didn't know. That's close enough! Relax, Jong. They're obviously not Geth. Get back, Juliana. Who are you? What do you want? Commander Shepard, I'm here to remove your Geth problem. You see? You worry too much. And you trust too easily, Juliana. I'm just glad to see a friendly face. I thought we were the only humans left on this planet. Phi Dan and some of the members of Zeus Hope are still alive. I thought you said they were all dead. I said they were probably all dead. They're surviving, but the Geth really hit them hard. We know what that's like. Those damn synthetics are relentless. I'll do whatever I can to keep them away from you, but I need some information. What kind of information? Ignore him. The Geth are up in the Exogeny headquarters, just a bit further along the Skyway. Those headquarters are private property, soldier. Remove the Geth and nothing else. This guy is an asshole. I'm not interested in your company's secrets. Commander, before you go, my daughter, Lisbeth, she's missing. They shouldn't waste time poking around. We can do a proper accounting of our casualties after the Geth are gone. That's my daughter you're talking about. She's still alive. I know it. Where's your daughter, Juliana? She was working in the Exogeny building when the attacks came. Oh, yeah, there were several places she could hide. For a short time. If she's in there, I'll get her out. Thank you, Commander. Thank you. Guy seems like he almost hopes uh, that she's dead. How did you get split up from the Zeus Hope colony? Most of us live closer to the Exogeny building. 
Zeus Hope was mostly used as a port. When the Geth hit, we scattered. Until you told us about the others, we assumed they were killed in the first wave. If we had known they were still alive, we might have attempted to join them. They're fairly secure now. Maybe you should do that. No, 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 no. I don't think that's a good idea. We, we have no vehicles, and the Skyway offers little protection. Like the building we're in now? Listen, our best hope is to sit tight and wait for company reinforcements. They'll come eventually. I wonder if he knows about the Forian and the fact that Zeus Hope was being used as a... as an experiment. And that's why he's unwilling to go and join them. Do you know what the Geth are after? I have no idea. We certainly haven't found anything of use. Something Exogeny is keen to remind us of. We need to recoup our expenses. It's nothing personal. Tell me about the colony. We established ourselves here four years ago. Growth was steady until the attacks. Our biggest challenge has been the lack of resources. There's just so little here of value. Still, we were making a go of it. It was even starting to feel like home. She makes a nice contrast to speaking with all the people at Zeus Hope who were unwilling to say anything other than go talk to Fidan. What brought you here? I guess I thought this would be the start of a new life. I wanted to go where I could feel like I was making a difference. Instead, everything we built is destroyed. It's very hard not to lose hope. Where's your daughter, Juliana? Somewhere at the Exogeny headquarters, I hope. What was the building used for? Oh, yeah, we repurposed that structure to serve as headquarters for Exogeny. That's mostly offices with a number of uh, light-duty R&D labs. Exogeny is a master at repurposing anything and everything. The company has to make a profit somehow, Juliana. Ferros is a long way from self-sufficient. Stay bunkered down until I find out what the Geth are after. Of course. And please remember, if you see my daughter... Um, I think there's more people here. We ran when the attack hit. There's one guy here who wants you to retrieve. I hope you can get us out of this mess. Some files or something. Yeah, they can find yeah it's that guy, isn't it? I wonder if I should ask. I was hoping you'd have a moment to speak with me. I've got a bit of a problem. What do you need? I need to retrieve some data. It's not a big job, but it pays well. Sounds easy enough. What's the catch? No catch, really. It's dangerous work, but not for someone like you. People are quick to assume we enjoy being in hazardous situations. It's not that bad, really. All you need to do is find my console at Exogeny headquarters and drop the data onto this OSD. It's that simple. I'll look around if I get the chance. I appreciate it. That data could be worth a lot of money. Of course, this all depends on getting out of here alive. Why work in the middle of nowhere if your skills are so useful? Maybe I've got a bit of the frontier spirit in me. That, and the alternative is a bit too secure for my liking. Freelancers don't have to worry about security as much, so long as we keep a low profile. Tell me about the data I'm getting for you. Plans for a few prototype mods? I'm a freelancer. Some of my mods are highly sought after. Time to get moving. Just keep in mind what I said. Alright, that's it for here, I think. So, we should be on our way. Um, okay. Work with me now, physics. One does wonder if this is how the road normally went. Did you have to go through this building? Or was there another way around? There's another guy there. I 
perfect save because that guy's there. Oh, he's inside again. You owe us for this. The skyway is crawling with Geth. Package is secured. We're leaving now. You um, do whatever you're doing. I thought there was only one. I was wrong. All targets down. Um, that's just the exit. Some upgrades, some Metagel. Can't seem to get down there. Bad day. But he's inside again. I believe so. That's the yeah, that's the extra genie building. It's the geth on ship on the side, I think. That's what we're seeing there. That's not the button I meant to push. Uh, is this one of the people we were just hearing? I don't know. And he's down here. All right. <coughs> Simple enough. Light Turian armor. That seems kind of pointless. Combat optics 10. They do seem to love giving me combat optics, but whatever. Yeah. Didn't think that was going to be of any use. Can't go up here. Go out the way we came. Down here, is there? There is not. I wonder if. I mean, these are supposed to all be Prophean structures. I wonder if they actually are. Or, like, so many have actually been uh, built by earlier cycles. Like the uh, Inusanon, or maybe even earlier, who knows? Z Prime, wait, didn't I, didn't I level up? Yeah, I did. Alright, Master Throw, Master Warp. Um, I guess Liara can have point and first aid and barrier. And Garrus. I guess decryption and electronics. We do use those quite a lot.
I thought so, you're not dead. Uh, now he is. We are almost there. That's how I land my ships. The gap have moved in rather quickly. They must want something from the exogeny systems. Why else would they bother with all this? I mean, considering we no longer get. Uh, XP loss from doing this, they really have no reason not to just use the Mako to try and kill them. He's over there somewhere, but can't really get a good view of him. Alright, well, I'll deal with the last one on foot because it's going to be easier than trying to find him. Through the Mako sites. Clear. Um, no, it's not. There should be one guy left in here. Or is that the armature that's in the room somewhere? I seem to recall that's the thing that happened. Um, this seems to be entirely empty. And also very blocked off. I forget where you find Lisbeth. Somewhere is the answer. Garrus, are you stuck somewhere? I guess so, can't even see him. Um... Sure is, isn't it? It is. Looks like it's not waking up. I think lift actually works on armatures. Not entirely sure. Shutting them down. I can't shoot. Why can't I shoot? Can somebody please shoot? Well, don't really know what happened there, but uh, all targets down. Nobody was shooting while that thing was lifted for some reason. That is it in here. I guess we're going down this way. A one-way trip down, Commander Shepard. Yes, we have no choice, though. You could easily climb back up there. Yeah, you could easily reach that. What are you talking about, Liara? Especially as a biotic. You could lift yourself up there, couldn't you? Damn it! I'm so sorry. I thought you were Geth, or one of those Varen. You're safe now, but why were you here in the first place? It's my own fault. Everyone else was running and I stayed to back up data. Next thing I knew, the Geth ship latched on and the power went out. I was trapped. I, I tried to get out, but the way was blocked. We'll get you out as soon as we find out what the Geth are after. It's not the Geth, it's the energy field they put up. They don't want anyone else getting access to the... I'm here for the Geth. It's very important that I find out what they're after. I don't know for certain, but 
I'm guessing they're here for the Thorian. Thorian? I have never heard of such a thing. It's an indigenous life form. Exogeny was studying it. What else can you tell me? Do you know where I can find this Thorian? I... I might be able to, but not with those geth crawling around everywhere. Look, we need to get out of here, past that field. Do you know how we can shut it down? No, not exactly. But I think the geth ship is powering it. I've noticed the geth laying power cables everywhere. You can follow those cables, but there's geth all over the place. Tell me about yourself. I'm just a research assistant for Exogeny. I came here with my mother. I don't even know if she made it out alive. She's with some others from the colony. She's safe for now. She's alive? Oh, thank God. I thought I was the only one left. Please, Commander, just get that field down so I can see my mother again. Don't worry, we will. Tell me what you know about the Thorian. I really don't know that much about it. I think it's some kind of plant being. I know it's very old. Thousands of years, even. Why do you think the Geth would be interested in the Thorian? It's just a plant. I don't know why the Geth would care. Exogeny was studying it, but I don't think they found anything special. Well, you're wrong there. You stay put. I'll go open some doors. Oh, here. Take my ID. This should get you past any locked doors. Good luck with that field. And we have sudden Varen attack. Uh... That went well. You ran away, I guess? Hey, as soon as you go, I'm gonna find a place to hide. You stay put. I'll go open some doors. Good luck with that field. Uh, where are we going? There, I guess. Let's see what the gaff are up to. Stupid machine! Access encrypted files. Oh no, yeah. I don't want to review protocol. <laughs> I remember this. I am unable to comply. Please contact your supervisor. Damn it! Tell me what I want or I'll blast your virtual ass into actual dust! Please contact your supervisor for a level 4 security exemption, or make an appointment with- STUPID MACHINE! If there is nothing else, please step aside. There is a queue forming behind you for the use of this console. I'm um, okay. Um, he did not get lifted. Here's how did you lose so much health? Exogeny Corporation reminds all staff that the discharging of weapons while on company property is strictly forbidden. Welcome back, research assistant Elizabeth Bainham. What can I do for you? Uh, how do you know I'm Elizabeth? Your access card identifies you as Elizabeth Bainham. Is there something you require, Dr. Bainham? What information was the last user attempting to access? Fetching data. The previous user was attempting to access details on the study of Subject Species 37, the Thorian. Tell me everything you told the Krogan. I was unable to provide the previous user with any relevant data. Aside from lacking proper access, there has been no new data available on Species 37. All sensors monitoring the observation post at Zoo's Hope have been inactive for several cycles. What does Zoo's Hope have to do with the Thorian? 
Species 37 is located within the substructure of the Zoo's Hope Outpost. Tell me everything you know about the Thorian. The Thorian is a simple plant life form that exhibits a sentient behavior uncommon with other flora. Through dispersion and the eventual inhalation of spores, it can affect and control other organisms, including humans. The Zoo's Hope Control Group has yielded interesting results. Before sensors went offline, almost 85% of all test subjects were infected. Yeah, they're using the word control group completely wrong here, but... Are you saying Exogeny knew its people were getting infected? It was deemed necessary to assess the true potential of Species 37. That explains their strange behavior. You should contact Joker. Joker! Come in, Joker! Damn it! That field's blocking us. We must find a way around the field. We must get back to Zoo's Hope. VI, what can you tell me about the Geth ship and the field it's generating? I have limited data on the Geth. They have effectively blocked all sensors within the facility. I have detected unusual power fluctuations, but am unable to determine the source. What do you know about the Geth? I have no specifics on the Geth as they relate to this facility. All sensors have been purposely decommissioned since their arrival. I want to know about Exogeny Corporation. Exogeny Corporation is at the forefront of human expansion in the new galactic economy, funding colonial development and securing resource rights to ensure our progress as a species. Further inquiries regarding company policy may be directed to consumer information services during regular business hours. I didn't need the ad. Who's in charge here? Who organized the research? All decisions about local resource analysis and acquisition are made by on-site management deferring to the board of directors only when seasonal quotas are missed or exceeded. Individual employee records are confidential. Tell me about the Thorian. Species 37 was discovered several weeks ago when a small team was infected with spores while examining ruins near the Zoo's Hope outpost. The outpost was quarantined immediately and study of the infection began. Within 21 days, 58% of colonists exhibited altered behavior. Within 28 days, 85%. Do you know how the creature controls its slaves? The will subversion manifests as intense pain if directives are ignored. The effect is severe enough that subjects are soon conditioned against even minor thoughts of rebellion. Observation suggests the Thorian views its thralls in a utilitarian way. Care is apparently taken to avoid injuring them, much as a craftsman avoids damaging his tools. As long as no action is taken against the creature's objectives, the subjects are free to pantomime a normal existence until specifically tasked with something. So now we know that Ian, who we saw in the tunnels, was fighting it on purpose and getting punished for it. What's the size of this thing? The Thorian appears to be a diffused creature. Its cognitive abilities are centered in large nerve bundles, but it receives data from kilometers of meandering tendrils. We have discovered bundles approximately one meter in diameter, but these seem insufficient to coordinate the massive sensory potential it possesses. It may simply process such stimulation slowly, or perhaps there is a nerve cluster of a greater magnitude we have not yet encountered. Yeah, you could say that. Is it intelligent? Can I reason with it? The Thorian does not exhibit the focused behavior of a predator. The release of spores is an act of survival, not aggression. It does trigger advanced behaviors in the humans it enslaves, but we have yet to discover whether it recognizes or is capable of recognizing humans as more than tools. It is sufficiently alien as to defy classification at this time. Where's the center of this thing? The Thorian is present as a weave of tendrils across much of the lower surface of Pharos. Observation of enslaved subjects suggests there may be key clusters that are tended by thralls. Unfortunately, direct observation of species 37 is limited or non-existent. Please access my personal files. Elizabeth Bainham, Research Assistant, Biomedical Division, Security Level 4 Exemption. You are currently under probation due to disagreements with management over established company policy. These sanctions may be lifted if your next evaluation is more agreeable. What triggered the probation? You were marked as combative about the operations of the Zoo's Hope Project, specifically regarding the handling of the infected colonists. As a result, you were tasked with monitoring the safety of the colonists for the duration of the observation. 
So she did know about it, but I guess didn't like it, so... It's slightly better. That's enough for now. Going to standby mode. Alrighty. This is such a difficult place to navigate, and the dark definitely doesn't make it easier. I think this is where we came from. Yeah, I'm fairly sure it is. Can't go further up. So, I guess we're gonna go this way. I think one of these two takes you to the... Uh, the files that you need to find. I just forget which one. Oh yeah, this is the weird gif, um... Temple? I don't know. Altar that they're worshipping at? Anyway, it allows us to catch them by surprise. The Geth must have anchored their ship to the side of the building with these claws. Indelicate, perhaps, but very efficient. How do we cut the power if it's coming from the ship? Could the ship be dislodged? Maybe there's a flaw in one of the other claws we could exploit. Indeed, there is. Over there. Predator M X Krogan armor and the an Nomen tool and a bunch of stuff. What's that Omni tool like? It's not bad. But it's really only better on tech cooldown bonus, which Liara doesn't need. And Garrus already has a better one anyway. This structure seems to have significance for the Geth. Is it possible they set up this room to serve as a sacred temple of sorts? Why would a synthetic devote resources to something like this? This structure seems to have significance for the Geth. I wonder if it has something to do Is with their worship of the Reapers that Saren was talking about. Why would a synthetic devote resources to something like this? And more Geth. Sniping me. Garrus, I don't think that's a remotely a good idea. Why is his health so low? I thought Garrus. I thought Garrus um, has health recovery of his own. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Am I wrong about that? Um, Garrus's armor does not provide health. Bonuses. Does he have by himself? It's not 
mentioned in any of his power, so I guess he doesn't. I thought he did. Oh, that's a good assault rifle. Too bad nobody we um, have uses assault rifles. I mean, Garrus technically does sometimes, I guess. Fine, we'll give it to him. Actually, would have been the only one, of course. Um, so yeah, you can have a medical ex exoskeleton then. Surely there you something better we can have than that. Alright, um already has. Oh those are your uh, the upgrades you put on there. They're not intrinsic to the uh, to the armor, okay. I missed Understood that. Um, we can't go down. Can go up. Colossus knife medium armor is very good, but also very useless. This is the direction of the claw, okay, so I'm gonna have to go to the... Uh, other way afterwards. Sword shields. The samples were due to arrive three days ago, but we haven't heard anything from the colony or the cargo vessel. We suspect the samples became volatile and recommend cutting off all further contact with the Notocrux colony. Even if the colony is discovered, no one should be able to trace the events there back to us. Which uh, gave us another mission. Investigate facility. Where do I go from here? Oh, up here. Again, kind of hard to I see. I fear we do not have the needed gear to destroy this claw. We will have to keep looking. Is that a prime? I think that might be a prime. And they just immediately show, show up. You need to deal with this annoying guy. I don't really know what the difference is between ghosts and stalkers. Keep track of which one are still. Wait, was this a destroyer, not a prime? That's uh. Yeah, 
Maybe wait until we're done shooting before you talk about that. Perimeter clear. Um, medium terrarian armor. That could be of use. It is not, however. I think normally you find a Geth terminal here that you can hack, which gives you the uh, the Geth incursion mission, but since we already picked that up on... Uh, where it came from? Um, we picked that up on Vermeer. I don't think that's possible here now. You know what this is. Private log of Dr. Gamorley. I don't trust this server as a group. Yeah, I wouldn't either. They may pay as well, but if this gets out before we've developed an antidote, it's just not smart. They won't tell us what they want the samples for or why they wanted them delivered to the Matano system. My records show nothing of interest out there. Yeah, I think that's where Cerberus is messing with... Uh, um, Forian Creepers, one of their other bright ideas. You find a repair ticket attached to the console. The damn door to the shuttle bay is fried again. Works fine if the PSI is 30 or lower, and the safety shutoff kicks in if the PSI gets over 30, 34. But if the PSI is in the 31 to 34 zone, the door slams down with enough power to shear through a metal I-beam. Somebody fix this before my team loses an arm in that thing. Okay, yeah, so we need to get it exactly between 31 and 35. Which I don't know exactly how to do. Um, that's too high. That should be good, right? Yep. I forgot you had to activate the door manually. That's why I need the extra 5 PSI when it wasn't needed. Well done. Our way out should be clear now. We can go address this Thorian issue. Keep your guard up. There still might be a few Geth inside the base. I repeat, Normandy to shore party. Are you reading? Anyone there? Normandy to shore party. Come on, Commander. Talk to me. Is that you, Joker? What's going on over there? We're in lockdown here, Commander. Something happened to the colonists. They're banging on the hull, trying to claw their way inside the ship. They're freaking out. They can't do any real damage. We're on our way back. Just hold your position. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, we'll just wait right here for you, Commander. This place will be crawling with Geth in a minute. Keep together and we'll get out of here in one piece. Um, apparently that one claw was crucial to the Geth being able to um, hang on to the building. Seems like poor use of redundancy. Or no use of redundancy. Light human armor. Which, of course, is not better than what I have. It seems to be the refrain here. You'd think you'd hang on to the building with at least one claw more than you need. Just in case. Just like most jets are fine when they lose one engine. But that uh, principle apparently never occurred to the Geth. Or the writers of this game. One of the two. Okay, we can get out now, but we actually don't want to yet. We need to go find that guy's files. The 
exit is here. So I need to make sure not to approach that. Um, oh, it's a staircase, which is really hard to see. And there's Krogan. But even Krogan aren't a big deal if you... Um, we're good, except I appear to have blocked my way. This is, uh... This is a problem. Alright. It's nice how Singularity selectively does not affect yourself. After a few seconds of downloading, you secure Gavin Hossel's design data. Come on. I'm like not paying attention to what I'm doing at all. Um, just kind of hoping to brute force my way through. I should really just start using Omnigel. I have so much of it. There's no point. Can I get out? Or, yeah, okay. Or did I have to do that again? I did not, though. Let's head out. We should get out of here. I don't think this place is safe. I need some answers. You knew more about the Thorian than you let on. I... I was afraid. I wanted to stop the tests, but they threatened me. Told me I'd be next. When the Geth attacked, I stayed behind to send a message to Colonial Affairs. I tried to tell them where to find the Thorian, but the power cut before I could send the message. I... I never meant for this to happen. You did what you could. I'll help them if you can tell me where to find the Thorian. The Thorian is underneath Zoo's Hope, but the entrance is blocked. The colonists covered it with the freighter just before the Geth attacked. But why are the Geth after the Thorian? What could Saren want with it? Well, it does have unique mind control capabilities. That's what Exogeny was interested in. Normandy to shore party, come in. But Saren has uh, plenty of mind control capabilities. One could even say too much. What is it, Joker? We're getting a lot of Geth comm shatter. Looks like they're headed your way. Thanks for the heads up, Joker. You heard the man. Let's move out. I'm coming with you. I might be able to help. Undo the mess I helped create. All right, well, she uh, seems to be okay with it. Or she seems to at least regret what's been done, so she seems to be okay. That's what I'm trying to say. And this time around, I should have enough. Um, Paragon points, or charm points, to uh, deal with the so he does not die and the colony ends up better. Alright. Overkill much? Okay. Three point turn with the Mako. And head back. I think the 
gotten the uh, previews for the Legendary Editions made it look like it's going to be like Lens Flare Central. I think they just really wanted to show off screenshots of that Lens Flare in them because it's really not too bad playing the actual game. Like, if you happen to look this way, yeah, there's a Lens Flare. But it's not too bad. I do not dare to use boosters here. I'm gonna fly off the skyway. Call the Mako a rover. Tank, sure, but rover? Let's defuse the situation here. You can't do this, John. Everyone shut up. Uh, let me think. What's going on? You won't get away with this. Get her out of here! Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Lisbeth! Damn it! Come, come out where I can see you! All of you! <sighs> Shepard, damn it. I knew it was too much to hope the Geth would kill you. <laughs> I found some interesting facts about you in the Exogeny database. I know what happened on a coos. This doesn't have to end like that. We can talk this out. Nobody needs to get hurt. You, you don't understand. It's not that easy. Communications are back up. Exogeny wants this place purged. This is a human colony, Jong. You can't just repurpose us. It's not just you. There's something here far more valuable than a few colonists. You're after the one unique thing Pharos has. The Thorian. The what? It's a telepathic life form living under Zeus' hope. It's taking control of the colonists there. Exogeny knew all along. You won't get away with this, Jong. So you keep saying, but nobody's gonna miss a few colonists. And now I can do this. Otherwise, he um, either you shoot him or he shoots himself. As you would know from my previous Let's Play, where I was missing the one point needed to do this. I could have put points in it, but I didn't. That was stupid of me. Can't you see the inherent potential in this colony? Think of the promotional opportunities. Opportunities? What the hell are you talking about? They recovered from an alien attack on a frontier world. Add that to your company profile. Well, yeah. No one's ever gone broke playing the champion of humanity card. Sadly, you'd probably make a killing. But if it will let us get back to our lives, I'm for it. It just might work. Wait, no, but the infected colonists will throw a bit of a wrench in that plan. No, no, they need to disappear. You can't just kill the colonists. It's not their fault. If you kill only the Thorian, it might be enough to stop the infection. Maybe. It's worth a try, but I don't know if I can avoid harming the colonists. There has to be another way. Maybe there is. Come and talk to me before you leave, Commander. Just make sure there's no evidence when you're done. And, um... This really only... The only difference this makes is a news report in Mass Effect 2, I think. But at least the people here will have better lives. You shouldn't be wasting time. Deal with the Thorian. I'll waste my time if I want to. Any luck finding my workstation out in the ruins? I managed to find the data and transfer it to your OSD. That's very good news indeed. Thank you. I was there anyway. It was the least I could do. Well, I appreciate it. Here, you've certainly earned this. Thanks again, Commander. Nobody gives us any money, because we've reached uh, the max. I guess the Alliance tax is at 100% after 10 million credits. That would be terrible. I'm glad you've decided to help us. I think there's a way to avoid killing the colonists. What'd you have in mind? I think you could safely use a nerve agent to neutralize the colonists. Like a gas grenade. 
Releasing clouds of nerve gas doesn't seem like a particularly good idea. It's not like it's weapons grade. The insecticide we use in the grow labs contains trace amounts of tetraclopene, a neuromuscular degenerator. If their nervous systems are already weakened, it may act as a paralyzing agent. A reduced capacity concussion grenade might suit our needs. Sounds good. I'll do what I can. Excellent. Thank you so much, Commander. Equip your grenades with the anti-forian grass gas upgrade. Grass upgrade, that'd be weird. Um, this will disable infected colonists without killing them. We'll stay out of your way until you clear a path. Good luck. Um, more stuff. Scares using snowblind rounds. Yes. So you can get the ten. Um, so we are using sledgehammer and rounds already ten. What I need to do is equip the anti forian gas. I wonder what happens here if you don't have enough inventory slots. Then you can't get the... Because I don't think they let you remove anything I already in your inventory. You have to omni-gel the stuff you just picked up. Okay, well we'll have to do this the hard way. Shouldn't be too bad, though, um, I hope. Where's the exit? There's the exit. Of course, I want to do this without killing anybody. The anti-forian gas isn't really useful for anything else, is it? Because like, it's specific to the forian, so you can't use it on the, the uh, Paragon mission to try and subdue the biotics without harming the scientists. I think it is pretty effective against creepers. But it's kind of annoying to have to switch that out. What the? Don't really know what's happening. Oh, there's Geff here somewhere. There they are. Juggernauts, bitch. That's the wrong button. All clear. I'm like stuck in zoom view. Uh, I meant to hit control and I hit Q for some reason. All right, almost back. Oh yeah, that's right. You actually get to deal with actual creepers. Um, I have a weapon that I want. No amount of infection could have altered a human to that extent. I wonder what is going on here. No hitting the colonists, even if the Thorian makes them fire on us. That's what the gas grenades are for. As you order, Commander Shepard. Alright, 16 colonists alive, and I'm actually just gonna have a real save here. Um, and we're going to keep it that way. If we can. And I think we can, so. I think that is gonna do much. Oh well. 
need to be careful with this game of shooting Emporiums that the creepers are floating around. Because it might be easy to uh, accidentally hit a colonist when that happens. Fortunately, the colonists don't really have good weapons, so they don't they don't do an awful lot of damage. That's because he used a Mako against these guys. The creepers, obviously, not them. Oh. I was hoping to hit them all with one grenade, but I was not that lucky. Just part of the reason why I. Um, made a real save. So if I do run out of grenades, I can... I can, uh, restore that. I could just probably run past these guys, honestly. Alright, seven grenades left. You target somebody. Okay, we still have sixteen colonists alive. There's a place to get more grenades here, isn't there? I'm all out to save. Technically, we already saw these on the one server's base. Alright, let's just have them run up here. You know, if they weren't too stupid to do so. Pretty effective that uh, still can't save. They uh, have you fight the people you've it's seen before. We have got to move one of those cargo blocks. They got all of them? No. Got all but one. Three grenades left. Oh, now I have eight. Okay, that's <laughs> fine. You can't go through the ship this time, no? Let's wake these guys. Lure them away.
then we can take him out at our leisure. They're all dead. And you're st stuck in the weird pose. Okay, well I don't have to worry about my grenade level then. Alright, we still have 16 alive. I still can't save. Even though it doesn't show any enemies. Alright, same story. You're gonna lure him over here. You had better not accidentally shoot colonists. Because I would be very unhappy about that. seem to do a lot more damage on these guys than regular shots. Alright, I think all we've got left now are a few colonists. We made it, without killing anybody by accident. Now comes the not so fun part. I tried to fight it, but it gets in your head. You can't imagine the pain. I was supposed to be their leader. These people trusted me. It wants me to stop you. But I won't. I won't. Definitely has some shades of uh, Wrath of Khan, where Commander Terrell um, shoots himself rather than Kirk. Despite Khan telling him to. There's no way to save Fidan, I don't think. Alright, Paragon plus 42. Yeah, we really needed that. And then the downside of this is that now you go down here with only four grenades. And grenades could definitely be useful against the creepers. Remember the first time I saw this thing, I was like, what on earth is this? Alright, we just need to find this creature and determine what, what it... That is disturbing. That does not look like any plant I've ever seen. This may be... problematic. Invaders, 
Your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. I will destroy you! You gave something to Saren. Something I need. Saren sought knowledge of those who are gone. The old growth listened to flesh for the first time in the long cycle. Trades were made. Then cold ones began killing the flesh that would tend the next cycle. Flesh fairly given. The old growth sees the air you push as lies. It will listen no more. I mean, I guess I can't blame it. Saren struck a deal with it and then sent Geff to kill it. So now it doesn't trust us. It's not so strange that it can't make the distinction between us and Saren. I won't let you keep your thralls. Release them. Now. No more will the Thorian listen to those that scurry. Your lives are short, but have gone on too long. Your blood will feed the ground in the new growth. Will it? Will it really? Alright, well this was um, incredibly annoying originally. But Garrus' sniper rifle has so much force it knocks him down. That's Come kind of actually there is something new. A growth of some kind. Actually quite useful. Uh, And of course I have this. So Yeah. Not as uh, worried about this this time to be honest. Some stuff to find that here, I think. That desired effect, I believe. A few more, and it will be severely hurt. Yeah, this is mainly just tedious. And definitely hard. The first time around. We're not waking up yet, yet are you? Nope, we get another Asari clone first. But once you know the secret to using biotics to power through every fight. It is not such a big deal anymore. And it's mainly just brute force. Getting rid of these guys. And everybody's using the right weapon, which is a huge problem I was having <laughs> with uh, Tali and Rex originally. A random weapon swapper. If nobody's seen the Thorian, how is this down here? I guess maybe Colonists did come down here. How effective are these grenades, anyway? Pretty effective. All right. Good to know. In case we're in a tight spot, which I doubt will happen, but sure. Like this is definitely a place where, on insanity level, they're above me. Um, it just takes a long time because all of these guys take so much damage. Why not? Oh, you're a sorry clone again.
Because, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, singularity basically renders them completely helpless, and we have two people who can do that, and we've only needed me so far because my recharge time is so fast now, because I'm already such a high level. As of... as a result of, uh... I'm gonna save my grenades. As a result of being high level and having really good equipment. Don't spit on Garrus. Fine, I'll use Liaris. I think I brought Tali and Rex originally Perimeter clear. in my original Let's Play, so I had no um, crowd control powers like this. Because Rex only has push. Natalia has only has tech powers, which is great against the Geth in this level, but the Creepers not so much. So I kind of made that much harder on myself than it needed to be. But I was hardly an expert at the combat of this game at that point. Of course I wasn't even Giving squadmates orders when they use power, they're just letting them do their thing when they want it, and they are definitely not as uh, effective at that as I am. I think we're done here. Not quite. Million tool is the one we keep getting, isn't it? No, but it is terrible. Um, where am I going? Over here. It's kind of hard to see again. I don't think they changed anything here. We have pretty big changes to the ends of uh, of uh, Ferrum and Novaria, but this seems to be exactly the way it was. wasn't even close. I don't think uh, the fight with Serum was modified either. You can just throw him off the edge too, I think. I like using this. First, because if you let her use powers on you, she can be a bit of bother. Yeah, there we go. He's not a problem. Just the I can save now sign. 
One of those sacks is where the real Asari is. I think there's one more. Not entirely sure. There now. Oh. And it's you again. Okay, I'm not entirely sure what's happening anymore, but we'll just keep shooting and it'll work out. kind of why I wanted to, was hoping to get level 10 Spectre weapons, because it would at least make this faster, you can do more damage. Yaris is being pretty effective actually. Um, you just fell down the stairs. But the fact that he, this sniper pushes people back is very helpful as well. Shotgun would have the same effect, I'm assuming. Perimeter secured. Finish this game on insanity without ever using biotics. I have a theory about the random All targets using. eliminated. No. I have a I have a side button on my mouse, so I'm thinking maybe that was it. But it's not. Um that I was press pushing that by accident, but it's not doing anything. Alright. Um Okay. They're just running at me during the cutscene. Corian didn't really deserve to die, but there was not an awful lot of alternatives here. I'm free. I I suppose I should thank you for releasing me. And it's the real Shiala. Is everything all right? Are you hurt? I am fine, or I will be in time. My name is Shiala. I serve. I I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. I came to this world in search of the Thorian. Saren needed its knowledge, and he needed my biotic abilities to communicate with it. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. Saren's pretty quick to betray his own people. He was quick to betray the Thorian, too. After he had what he wanted, he ordered the Geth to destroy all evidence of his existence. Saren knows you are searching for the Conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the Cypher. What's the Cypher? And why did Saren need it? The Beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. 
But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. He must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. So I guess the Thorians did actually build this city. Not a previous cycle. So the Thorian taught Saren to think like a Prothean. How? The cipher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sensed this ancestral memory, the cipher, when I melded with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught, it simply exists. I need that knowledge to stop Saren. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity. I have given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are part of you now. Are you all right? What just happened? I saw... something. It still didn't make any sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. We should get you back to the ship where you can be monitored. I'm sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the Cypher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the beacon. And so Liara was not the first that <laughs> Shepard mind melded with. And she's standing right there. I wonder if she's jealous. Do you know what the conduit is? Or where it is? No, I'm sorry. All I know is that Saren believes the conduit was the key to the Prothean extinction. Then whatever it is, we can't let him have it. You have the cipher. In time your visions will clear, they will lead you to the conduit. I only pray you find it before Saren does. Is there anything else you can tell me about the Thorian? When the creature enveloped me, I became part of it. But I still don't truly understand it. So alien, so ancient. Its exact age is impossible to know. It measured time differently. 10,000 years of hibernation broken by a few frantic centuries of activity. Its mind was awesome, magnificent. It transcended all classification. And now it is gone. Don't tell me you feel sorry for that thing. The Thorin was a unique life form. A sentient being that lived for 50,000 years, maybe more. There is nothing even remotely like it in the known galaxy. I am grateful you saved me from a life of thraldom. Yet I cannot help but feel some sorrow for the loss of such a rare and remarkable creature. I kind of agree with that. What else can you tell me about Saren? There is little I could tell you that you do not already know. He's powerful, he's charismatic. And he is dangerous. Once I followed him, blind to his true nature. 
But now I see he's leading the galaxy into an age of darkness and suffering. I want to know more about you. There is nothing remarkable about me. I was merely one of Matriarch Benezia's disciples. For nearly two centuries, I followed her, learning at her feet. When Benezia revealed her plan to join Saren, she gave her disciples a choice. Only those who were willing had to follow her. Many felt her plan was too dangerous. But I believed in her. I thought she could turn Saren away from his insanity. Instead, we joined him in it. Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. The colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. May fortune smile upon you. I can't believe it. Jong says we'll have all the money we need to keep this place running. It's because of you, Shepard. I can't thank you enough. And yeah, we don't get to immediately go back to that ship. We end up here first. And because we were able to convince Jong, the colonists are much happier now. Ships are already on their way here with supplies. We'll be the biggest human colony yet. Jong may be corrupt, but he certainly got us a great deal. Ships are already on their way. <laughs> Thank you so much. Now Exogeny will pour the money in. We'll be able to rebuild and then some. A um, bunch of people died, so might still want to be sad about that. Soon we'll have everything we need. We're going to be very busy. You won't recognize anything in a year. A clean slate. Too bad we never come back here. Soon we'll have everything we need. Looks like the colony will survive after all. If only Exogeny had supported us from the start. Didn't they kind of do that though? This is great. We'll have more than enough to make it work this time. The frontier is a lot more dangerous than we were told. Well, nobody could have anticipated this. Looks like the colony will survive after all. It's nice to finally get the support we deserve. This wouldn't have happened if Exogeny had backed us from the start. I never thought we'd get that much support from the Home Office. We fought hard for this colony. We're not soldiers. It's nice to finally get... We've never had funding like this before. Pharos could have been great if we'd had the support we asked for. This would have still happened. You really forced Exogeny to see our potential. We fought hard for this colony. We've never had funding like this. Oh, thanks again. That data will be very valuable once I get out of here. Oh, thanks again. That data will be very valuable once I get out of here. I'm talking to these guys because their conversations are different than, uh, when I did the Let's Play, because I did manage to convince Jong. All traces of the Thorian will be erased in short order. Paris will have a second chance thanks to you. I think this plan of yours just might work. All traces of the Thorian. Oh, I hope the new money doesn't spoil this place. There's always somebody who's negative. I don't think any of the colonies get the support they deserve. You'll be interested to see what Ferris looks like in a year. Every colony deserves a chance. Huh. I hope you won't recognize this place when we're done. You'd think Exogeny would be more interested in protecting their investment. We're not soldiers. We didn't stand a chance against the Geth. You won't recognize this place when we're done. You sure get results. That's what I do. If Exogeny had just put in a bit more support from the start, I think they think they would have been better prepared for the attack or something. I'm not sure what else they're good be getting at. I don't know how you convinced them to reinvest, but thank you. Pharaohs can work. It just needs help. You sure? All of a sudden, it's like we're worth something. Exogeny could have prevented all this in the first place. How? Well, maybe if they hadn't done anything with the Forian, things would at least have been better. Maybe Saren would never have found it either. There's not much you can do when a force like that shows up on your doorstep. All of a sudden, it's like we're worth something. I've never seen such a turnaround by a company. We asked for help in the beginning, but they didn't listen. We tried to fight on our own, but the Geth were too much. I 
never seen such a turnaround by a company. They basically all say the same things. I fought so hard, but any thought of my own caused so much pain. We can rebuild this place. We're stronger than the company gives us credit for. I hope we can make this colony work. I fought so hard. I will do what I can to assist the colony in this difficult time. I am ashamed of the damage done to the lives of these people. This just gives you another chance to ask these questions. Farewell, Shiala. Farewell, Commander. I wish you well in your hunt. And we will see her again in uh, Mass Effect 2. I never thought I would be so thrilled to see a soldier. Forgive my previous inaction, but under the Thorian's influence, every thought was examined, filtered. What will you do now that the fighting is over? I may stay, try to recover my losses. I can have new supplies delivered within weeks. Perhaps the colony will survive after all. Let me see what you have in stock. Of course. Return in the future, and I may even have more to see. Does you have anything interesting? I doubt it. No. Thank you for everything you did. I think if you hadn't talked to these people yet after doing the their missions, um, you can still finish them now. Except if you did Geth in the tunnels, um, you would need to talk to Fidan to finish that. And he's dead, so that's not going to work. We're stuck with that anyway. Thanks to you, Greta and I can start over. The Thorian controlled us with pain. I never expected this much trouble. I guess that's what makes it a frontier world. Thank you for everything you did. I have my own thoughts again. Thank you, Commander. Now that the alien influence is purged, we can get back to building a profitable colony. We'll build up our defenses and make sure Pharaoh stays in human hands. Pharaoh will survive, thanks to you. I have my own thoughts again. Did Thank I you, already Commander. do this? Oh, is this the one glitched one where you can basically get... Um... Yeah, the Amazon system. I already saw this. Now I don't get XP for it again, so... They tell me you survived the coup. Glad you're on our side. This planet's not so bad, but it isn't under the grip of some hidden threat. It feels so good to be free again. We have another chance at making a home here. Why do we still hear fighting in the background? Maybe there's still some pockets of Geth left? We'll try our best to make this colony work. I know we can do it. Okay, I'm kind of tired of this. I'm only going to talk to the named ones. Thanks, Commander. It's great to be free again. It was hell, you know. Any honest thought hurt. Just like staring at the sun. Because they all basically say the same thing. You did a good thing for Pharos. But I'm getting out while I can. I've had enough of the colony life. Can't say I blame you. I'm ready to go back to Earth. Things are simpler there. That's not a good idea in the long term. Thanks, Commander. It's great to be free again. Thank you for everything you tried to do here. Finally, we have hope again. Zeus hope again. It was in my head. Like getting slapped every time your eyes left the ground. I don't know if I want to stay, but I'm glad we have the choice. Thank you for every I'm free. Thank you for giving me my mind back. It was awful. Every time I thought about speaking out, even the memory is painful. We can make this colony work. We just need to build it for ourselves. After a while, we just instinctively did what the Thorian wanted. I'm free. Thank you for... Free? I can't believe I'm free. You made it back from the tunnels? That was a nightmare. No one should ever feel pain like that. I really need a vacation. Free. You and me both. I can't believe... I'm free. I guess that was Garrus. For a second, I thought 
That lit up. Finally, that damn thing is out of my head. I can think without pain. And with the power cells you brought, I can get this place up and running again. Thanks, Commander. It will take time for things to get back to normal around here. The Geth are gone. We've got water again. Everything's good. I'm free again. Thank you for everything. I forgot what it was like to have a thought of my own. It will take time for things to get back to normal around here. Thank you for freeing us. The Thorian forced me to think what it wanted. I felt when you killed it. That thing got into my head pretty deep. It hurt so much. I'm glad we'll have another chance here. That's all Davin and I have ever wanted. Thank you for freeing us. And yet nobody mentions Fidad. It's kind of weird. Um, they must not have liked him that much. All right, let's return to the Normandy. I think I think you need to go to the galaxy map before you are forced back to the citadel. I do think we have a debriefing to go go through first though. Stand by shore party. Decontamination in progress. Decontam Commander, you look... pale. Are you suffering any ill effects from the Cypher? The Cypher shook me up a bit. I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. Really? Here? In front of everyone? Ginky. Do it. Hurry. We don't have much time. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity! Stress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers. But the warning came too late. I think she always does this after Pharaohs try to melt with you. But if you haven't been to Vermar yet, she says the vision is incomplete. I think. If I remember right. What about the conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognize from my research. Ilos! The conduit is on Ilos. That is why Saren needed to find the Mew Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. How come you never told us about Ilos before? The Mew Relay links to dozens of systems and hundreds of worlds. How was I to know Ilos was the one we wanted? Without the cipher, the images in your visions were never clear. It is only now that I recognize them as landmarks from Ilos. We have to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mew relays inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. The conduit's on Ilos. That's where Saren's heading. I plan to be waiting when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You need to alert the Council. We need a fleet to... to... Oh, I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Dr. Chakwash should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. We're done here. Dismissed. 
All right. Well, we have the cipher. We understood the vision. And we will soon be called back to the Citadel for lockdown. But that will happen in the next video.